Welcome back to our channel. Recently, the Swedish government launched its largest military support program for the first time to Ukraine. The military's latest aid package, worth more than $1.3 billion, includes SC-890 surveillance, airborne control aircraft, and will first operate on Ukraine's battlefields. There is also other military equipment, such as the PBV-300 to armored infantry fighting vehicle, the advanced medium-range air-to-air missile RB-99 MROM, as well as additional 155 mm artillery shells. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion, NATO drones and aircraft have provided Ukraine with intelligence necessary for combat operations. However, this intelligence takes time in the dynamic movement of battle, and time is too precious for Ukraine. ASC-890 an advanced airborne surveillance and control aircraft is designed to enhance defense capabilities against air and maritime threats. Therefore, Ukrainians having aircraft like this would allow them to visualize planes and ships. Ukrainian pilots can fly the aircraft above an altitude of 14,000 meters, and this is high enough to detect threats and carry out preventive measures in time. In addition to being able to fly at high altitudes, the reconnaissance aircraft is capable of operating up to five hours in the air and only six crew members on board, thus ensuring comprehensive coverage and strong surveillance capabilities. The ASC-890 aircraft is suitable for operation in Ukraine as it is equipped with advanced radar and sensor systems with remote capabilities including real-time data collection, processing, and dissemination, thus significantly improving command and control operations as well as providing in-depth situational awareness. Meanwhile, this aircraft will later equip and strengthen the advanced systems of the F-16 because the capabilities of this aircraft are suitable for building an aerial duo with the use of F-16 fighter jets, which Western countries plan to contribute. Therefore, the F-16 fighter jet makes sense for Kiev rather than relying solely on smaller Soviet-era fighter jets. It will bolster its defenses, identify air or maritime targets, detect drones and cruise missiles, and act as a force multiplier by relaying target information to new F-16 fighters as well as advanced ground-based missile batteries. It first entered its service in the 2000s. Basically, the ASC-890 aircraft is from the Saab 340AW and C. Later, the propulsion of the aircraft had to General Electric CT-79B turboprop engines, each engine producing 1870 horsepower and having a maximum speed of 530 kilometers per hour which drove a four-blade constant-speed Dowdy Rotal or Hamilton Standard 1-4 F-19 propeller. Despite a wide variety of sophisticated weaponry Ukrainian forces have used on the battlefield. However, the concern is that Ukraine has one of the weaknesses of the lack of anticipation of the Russian threat, and we know that Ukraine's air detection system lacks long-range radar capabilities. The ASC-890 aircraft is equipped with the Erie radar system, 
which is located inside a rectangular container rigidly mounted above the fuselage. The radar system, which can detect long-range aerial targets up to 350 kilometers to 450 kilometers, and is known for its high-quality information and range, is effective in detecting long-range targets including Russian drones and shape missiles in the air. As for the Erie radar system, it uses AESA technology that provides improved detection and tracking performance when compared to traditional radar dome antenna systems. AESA technology allows steering with electronic beams, allowing radar to track multiple targets simultaneously quickly and accurately. Please note, radar detection is not the only function of this aircraft. However, it is also capable of signal intelligence, which means capturing and analyzing radio signals and communication between equipment to find them. It is particularly useful for detecting all defense, surface-to-air activations and for coordinating anti-battery artillery fire. The ASC-890 aircraft can detect targets hundreds of kilometers away, making it an important asset for Ukraine's air defenses. Sweden's decision to provide a similar kind of ASC-890 aircraft will play an important role in improving Ukraine's modern air defense capabilities to counter the ongoing Russian threat.